Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. In this video, I'm going to let you know how to become a Power BI developer. Not only that, if you would like to become a data analyst, then this video is also for you. In this video, I'm going to explain you what are all the steps required to become a Power BI developer or a data analyst. If you are interested in this, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. In order to become a Power BI developer, you need to follow a three steps process. Very first, you have to acquire the necessary skills. Secondly, you have to practice or you have to create certain project for your showcase. And lastly, you have to prepare for the interview. So let's discuss these steps in detail one by one. If you want to become a Power BI developer, then you should have certain skill set. And in that, the very first comes the basic knowledge about databases and data warehouse. You should be very well aware about what is table, what is a database, what is a database management tool, what are the different data warehouse concepts, how we build a database or a data warehouse, etc. Number two is the data modeling part. Data modeling part is the essential part when it comes to the Power BI. Whenever you are trying to get the data from the different sources in Power BI, you need to model the data. That means you have to create your data model over there. For that, you must have a knowledge about tabular data model. From my experience, I can tell you it's pretty easy and it really doesn't need any kind of coding. Number third comes the SQL language, which is mandatory if you really want to work in the data field. SQL language is very simple and easy to understand. However, if you want to get the mastery over this language, it can take some time, but still it is pretty easy to use. Next would be the Power BI. On our YouTube channel, we have all the videos from basics to the advanced level for Power BI. If you would like to learn, you can learn everything for free. So please do check out our, all the videos and the link in the description section to learn Power BI. Next would be the Power BI certification. Once you have completed all the previous steps, that means learning about the basics of databases and data warehouse, data modeling, SQL language and Power BI, then this is the time when you have to pursue for your Power BI certification exam. I have already created one complete course for Power BI certification training. Please visit our YouTube channel and start watching those videos. If you need more information, you can comment in the comment section. Power BI certification is going to play a major role. That is going to prove that you are a skilled Power BI developer. Once you are a Power BI certified, then you can start applying for the jobs. However, please don't stop there. Now it's time to start learning about Azure Data Analytics. In Azure Data Analytics, you are going to learn about ETL operations in cloud using Azure Data Factory. How can we store data into Azure Data Lake Storage or much more? If you would like to learn more, I have already created the videos on all the topics. So please do visit our channel and you can also find the links in the description section. So please start watching those videos. And finally, in the last part, you have to again start learning towards the Power BI. That means you have to start getting mastery in Power BI. You have to start working on the advanced concepts and also you have to start working on DAX. DAX is the most powerful language when it comes to Power BI. It is going to help you to create different measures and also to perform advanced level of calculations. So these are the skills that you need to acquire in order to become a Power BI developer. Now comes to the step number two projects and the practice. Once you have acquired all the necessary skills, now this is the time where you have to showcase your projects. That means you can get the data from the freely available data sources online and you can start creating your own Power BI reports and dashboards. Once you have completed your reports and dashboards, you can store them online on any of the platform. For example, you can store them on GitHub. Whenever you are appearing for any interview, in that case, you can showcase your projects. That is going to prove how skillful you are with Power BI. And please keep practicing. Now, last stage. In the last stage, you have to start preparing for Power BI interview. That means you have to gather all the knowledge that you have acquired so far for Power BI. And also, please get all the interview questions and answers either from your friends who have already appeared for the Power BI interview, or you can find all the Power BI interview questions and answers online. 
Not only that, if you are a silver member of our YouTube channel, then you can directly connect with us and we can schedule a 15 minute session with you where you can ask all the questions that you have. Maybe it's regarding your CV or it can be regarding any interview question and answers or maybe it's regarding your project. I will be there to help you out. So this was the three step process to become a Power BI developer. In case you need any training or consultation, please don't forget to connect with us. Also, if you have any question or concern, please let us know. If you are here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest Power BI videos and updates. See you in the next video.